Today I'm be showing you guys how to do this freeze frame, slow mo, inside of After Effects, super clean effects I know how to do guys, it's very easy. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. I'm dropping tutorials weekly. Make sure you hit the notification bell, you don't want to miss out on any single video. Make sure to hit that like button. All it does is help motivate me to make more tutorial for you guys. But that being said, let's hop straight into After Effects. So these will be the clips we'll be working with inside of After Effects guys. As you guys can see, I already cut it up right here. This is the area where I want the slow-mo to take place. So make sure you guys go to like the end of your clip like I did right here and chop it up because this is where the slow-mo will take place. Now what we want to do is we want to right click and we want to pre-compose the part where we're going to slow-mo. We're going to be using Twixter Pro for this effect guys, but if you guys don't have it, don't worry. You're going to right click on that clip that we pre-composed. We're going to go to time, time stretch. Let's change that to like 300. If we play it back, you guys can see there's that little lag. For you guys to get rid of this lag, you're going to double click on the pre-compose. You're going to press on this time blending right here. You're going to double click on it. Now, if we play it back, you guys can see the slow-mo right there is more smooth. But in my opinion, Twixer Pro is more clean, so we're going to remove that. We're just going to make sure we pre-compose that. And we're going to go to our effects and presets. We're going to search up Twixter. This is the best way to add slow-mo inside of After Effects. I highly suggest you guys get it. We're gonna change that speed down to 30. I have to play it back way something like this. Super fire. After we got that down, we're gonna select on both those clips, pre-compose them one more time. Press OK. Now we play it back, we got something like that. I know the slow-mo starts right here, so I'm gonna press on this marker tool and we're gonna mark that up right there. Make sure that this is enabled. We're gonna press Y on our keyboard to see the anchor point. We're gonna make sure the anchor point is right in the middle of his face. Now we're gonna go about seven frames back from that marker that we just did. So like right here, we're gonna press S for scale. We're gonna go ahead and keyframe that. We're gonna go past the marker. Let's bring that up to about 145. Then we're gonna select those keyframes we just did. Press F9 and easy ease. We're gonna go into our speed graph. Make sure you right click, make sure it's the value graph. We're gonna make a graph just like this. And now if we play it back, we got a smooth zoom in like that. Make sure we select motion blur for both those clips as well. Now when the slow-mo is taking place, we're gonna add a shake to it. So we're gonna go to Shake Sauce 2. Shake Sauce 2 is one of the best plugins to add shakes inside of After Effects, guys. If you wanna try it out for seven days for free, I'm gonna link it down in the description there below. Seven day free trial, 100% risk free. If you don't like it, you can cancel it anytime. Now that we're back into the video, we got Shake Sauce 2 opened up. I highly suggest you guys get this plugin. It's one of the best plugins inside of After Effects. So we're gonna use Shaky, but right before we apply it, we wanna choose the area that we want it to take place. So right when the zoom happens, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my clip up. So Control Shift D. And then I'm gonna double click on Shaky, and then it's gonna automatically add to that part of the clip. And now if we play it back, we got something like this. Super clean. You guys saw how easy it was for me to add that shake. Like I said before, guys, link down in the description down below if you want to try Shake Sauce 2 for free for seven days. Now, the last test that we're going to add to the video, we're going to go to the last frame of that clip of the slow mo. We're going to control D to duplicate it. We're going to control Shift D to cut it up. We're going to delete the remaining because we won't be needing it. Let's go ahead and zoom in so we can see what we're working with. We're going to right click on that. We're going to go up to time, freeze frame. Let's make that freeze frame about five frames. One, two, three, four, five. Go ahead and chop it up, delete the remaining. Bring it towards the end. Let's press on T for opacity. Let's go ahead and keyframe that. And let's go to the end and keyframe it down to zero. And now when we play it back, we have something like this. Super clean, guys. We're gonna press on that freeze frame that we just did. We're gonna go to our effects and presets, go to exposure. Then we have exposure on top. We're gonna keyframe at the beginning. Let's bring that to about four. Then we're gonna go two frames in. One, two. Let's bring that exposure back down to zero. Now when we play it back, the final effect we have is this, guys. And it's looking very clean, super fire. Like I said before, link in the description for a seven day free trial for Shake Sauce 2. One of the best plugins to have, guys. You definitely want to check it out. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Drop tutorials every single week. Like I said in the beginning, you don't want to miss out. Hit the notification bell. Hit that like button. If you haven't hit it yet, all it does is motivate me to keep dropping more content. And it helps you to push my videos out as well, guys. So if you guys support me and you support the channel, hit that like button. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Comment down below also what you want to see on my next tutorial. With that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.